Oh, I'm disappointed, very disappointed. I uh, We did not play good football tonight. And, uh, you know, good football team can't spot another good football team. Can't let it get out in front of them that much uh, or that early in the ball game. You know, what I appreciate very much, I love about this football team is that it does believe it's capable of accomplishing some things and it'll fight itself out and it'll compete and find a way to win. And, uh, you know, I saw that and that's great with this football team. We didn't execute well early in the game. and. Uh, you know, I'll take the blame for the first one. You can see what our, our uh, that first touchdown, you know, our, our uh, we had a little strategy going there. I was uh, really thinking that maybe we could get, uh, we'd get old Magic to pop his hamstring and we wouldn't have to play him the rest of the game. So that didn't work quite the way that we had hoped. And, uh, you know, after that, you know, we handled the run. I thought, uh, I thought we handled it better. You know, our defense got itself going. We gave up too many points early. That uh, was a hole we had a hard time digging ourselves out of. And uh, offensively, we didn't execute well enough. But the kids kept believing. The coaches kept working. And we fought our tails off and, uh, you know, right to the bitter end. And that's why, you know, you know, we tried to turn it into a three-possession, get three-score game. And we had uh, had that done until we didn't get that uh, the one two-point play. And then, you know, that meant needing to get something done in short order. Uh, great execution on the onside kick. Um, but we got to start earlier than that. That's just plain and simple the way that it is. That's a good football team that we lined up against from tonight. Uh, they've got a, you know, it's a hell of an outfit. Pat's doing a hell of a job. They've got a good crew. And um, we just need to play better early. Do you think the offensive struggles early were uh, in part because of uh, putting Reader in? No, I don't think that had a thing to do with it. I think. Uh, I don't think so. I think it was it was execution because some of the things that were miscues for us early in the ball game didn't have anything to do with the quarterback at that point in time. So uh, no, I don't think so. I think uh, I think Brian did a damn good job. You know, I think you see, you know, it's like I told you early in the year. We've got two very good quarterbacks. We had a starter and a talented backup. You see, our talented backup is capable of being a starter and uh, is very good. And he did a great job in the San Jose game. Um, got himself going here tonight, and uh, and he stood his tail in there too and uh, took some shots. I mean, the, the the touchdown throw, that last touchdown throw, he got his tail blasted, and he still. You know, he ran and got first downs, ran and got touchdown. Um, guy did a great job. But this football team needed to do a better job. And he and we all are part of this team. Coach, could Nate have gone? Or is, it, is this the thing you just wanted to hold him out for next week? Explain your thought process. In no, Nate uh, was not able to play today. Uh, he's, I'm hoping he'll be ready to play next week. That's going to be a day by day. We're going to see how that thing progresses, Nick. But uh, he was not, uh, was not able to. And uh, you know he's gonna keep getting treatment. We're making some progress there. It's gonna be a matter of how fast does that thing progress. In his shoulder. It's in his shoulder. Yeah, some some blood in the joint. Coach, it, it feel like you guys are just kind of been pushing it for the even the wind. You guys have fought it out of that early hole. Did you finally just push it a little too far with that early deficit? Well, that wasn't the plan, so I wouldn't say that. No, uh, you know obviously we ran out of time tonight, but uh, you know it, it's not a matter of uh, pushing it too much. It's a matter of allowing something to happen early and, and, and allowing it to be too big of a hole. You know, so again, there's great competitive nature. You know, maybe I'll just, uh, maybe when we go down to Boise next week, maybe the scoreboard will read 21-0 before we kick the thing off and uh, see how we play from that point on. But uh, no, it's not like we're waiting to make something happen. We just, uh, you know, it's a matter of getting started fast and, and continuing to go. And, you know, I think you're seeing that, uh, you know, football teams are getting after each other this time of year. This is the best time of year in college football. You know, from November through the bowl season, it's the greatest time of the year. And uh, you're getting people's best efforts, and you should be putting out your own best efforts too. And there were a lot of great things that happened for our football team tonight. But early, there wasn't enough of it that was great that happened. Uh, I got all the confidence in the world this football team is going to respond, and we're going to come back, and we're going to play a great game next week. We'll let it hurt tonight, and we're going to come back to work tomorrow and get ourselves going. But uh, no, it, uh, we ran out of time tonight, but uh, they executed within the 60 minutes, and that's our job too. Is it, is it a mentality thing with starting? Is the start game started earlier, or is it a matter of technical things? Or no, there's no men, no. It's it's a matter of we didn't. You know, it's a matter of an 80-yard touchdown run. It's a matter of three touchdowns early against us and three and outs and and, uh, and not making plays of our own early. That's the that's the nature of what it was. Uh, the mentality, the mentality this football team has is that it's going to be able to overcome anything. That's a great thing. You know, we just need to get executing faster. Coach, did you do uh, did you do anything differently with with uh, reader in the game besides that early? Or? No, we we uh, there, there were things that were different to to fit the attack to attack Fresno um, that would have been similar would have been what we were doing if uh, if Nate had been our quarterback also. So uh, you know, not really in that respect. No. Uh, there's a there's a point. Uh, you guys went for it on fourth down. It was uh, I believe it was the third time you went. And DeMondre picked it up. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys were, it looked like you guys might be able to turn the corner again and. Uh, just uh, 
just didn't happen. Well, time. I expected us to at that point in time, and that's you know that's the that's what I wanted going. I wanted our players playing more aggressively, so therefore put a you know let me go about it more aggressively also, and uh, you know getting that fourth down. I you know hope that that keep going, and, and uh, anyhow we had opportunities there, and I did. I felt like that would click this you know the switch for us there a little bit earlier, and then get it to be a point where we weren't chasing the clock as well. You know just get it to be a deal. You know we needed to come out and. If we can win 25 nothing in the second half, we can win the football game. And uh, you know we need to do everything in power in our power to keep points off the board and everything we could to keep things going. And so therefore, let's get started and let's get a drive completed and let's keep it going if we can. And uh, we took some we took some chances there and some of them helped us out. But we with this football team, we will compete. We'll go. Coach, is Jeremy Jones going to be up for a little bit? Or Say again? Is Jeremy Jones going to be up for a while? Or? That's a good question. I'll find the answer to you know, probably tomorrow. Uh, we'll have to see how X-Rays come back. He uh, he got his shoulder on the first play of the game uh, or collarbone or something in there, so we need to find out how that comes back. He wasn't able to go tonight. Um, if it's broken, I'd say he's probably done. Uh, if it's not, then there could be a chance that we could get him back next week. Okay. What happened to Mike out of your body in the fourth quarter? Mike uh, got dinged in the head, uh, possible concussion. Anything else for Coach?